All right, we're back in the park. I always wanted to ride this one. Me too. I want to get got in. around to do it before. Let me ride it now. I'm going to sit in the very front. All right, where is I can't see anything. Is this it? Yes. Time to ride. Why would I ride this alone? It's that guy! What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He Whoa. tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Why is he sitting behind me like I'm on his lap? And why is this lady riding all the rides alone? Oh crap! I'll agree. Roller coasters are like hospital visits. What did that say? I'm gonna have to go back in the video and read that. Okay, so he's gone. He's not riding with me anymore. Where'd he go? We just ran over Callum. And that's it for today's ride. How do I get off? Fade to black. Alright, so, uh... Which way... Okay, this way. Enough messing around. Wait, I want to see what's up here. We must find Callum. Calcium. I named him Callum because I like calcium. It works. The calculations and adjustments work. Worked. The transport and strange mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day. If only these people knew what they were fueling. And so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling dour? So what if the children are more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality. And such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. I can't get out. What the? That's very interesting. I love hearing the crazed rants of a roller coaster maintenance guy. Okay, there we go. We're sprinting now. Take flashlight. Finally, a flashlight. How do I? Callum! Callum! Oh, I forgot I could call him. Come back! Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. 
The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in park goers' mouths. Filmed at 11. Yesterday evening, visitors at two Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of the Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when some, something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Grundy Chronicle will provide daily updates on this story going forward. What's over here? Oh, it's blocked. What? Who? Who's there? Blood. A rock. Young child. Examine corpse. I can help you, Callum. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? Okay, stop looking at him, please. How do I stop looking at him? Okay, there we go. Ah! What the? <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is only going to get worse and worse. What next? What's evil? What's this? Take pills. Why not? These are mine. I'm riding all the rides alone. Why not take some unknown pills? Oh, I guess she knows what they are. Laxatives. What the heck? Leroy Jenkins. Don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your... How did I know I was picking my nose? I was doing that. Are you better off than you were before four years ago? Reagan 80. Your mother. Say no to graffiti. Safe. Hey, I can't read it. A... Hey, that pig, but this looks like it's gonna get very scary soon. Whoa! What the heck? Can I go through the bears? Boom! Oh my gosh, dude, this is awesome. Can I go around the bears? What the bad touch? Great newspaper, are you? Future times. Belly button is the signature of your personal create. What? Belly button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every 17th child is a magnet for sinfulness made omniscient by broken fires in the coastal strain. We don't believe that the earth belongs to battered goat and shamrock afterbirth. Only the true naked wrens of righteous indignation are severed by... What am I reading? War cross cleavages and trust exercise arrhythmia. Beaumont will come to the island bearing the talisman and he will shatter the seals... See? Seals? That bind the uh, uh, orthodoxy of corruption. I can't read this. Only then will pre-shoot sluts reveal housewives porn pointificate and delay besides makes eyes access for the rescue of Tango and Cash. Yes, good movie. Sweet tempered sweet the temptress who grips his shaft, twist the shaft absconding with third age tears in the fourth age darkness. Well gods lie writhing in shattered face of the earth. I can't I can't I can't do it no more. It's crazy. Makes no sense. Pickled punks? What? K 
Come on, punk. Okay, glad that's over. Let's get the heck out of here. But wait, there's more. That's where I came in. What? Oh God, no. What's going on? I'm turning into Tiger Lady. Fade to black. What happened? That was a nice little rest. All right. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Hear the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Smile with the black tooth grin. All right, let's go in the haunted house. The witch's house. Flashlight on. Bats off. Here we go into the, the abyss. The park. That's freaky. <sighs> Alright, this is turning into a Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas thing, so let me get psyched up. <sighs> Whoa, dude, this is crazy. This is a trip, it's awesome. What's this? Read page? Done! Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools, <coughs> sorry, scared of what they don't understand. My machine lies silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors. I must think. It's him! It's Christopher Walken. You, you're the one that scared me. Can I knock you over? No. Whoa, you're devil sighted? Alright, so let's check this house of horrors out. Whoa, crap! What? going to be interesting. Is that what it look like? Windigo. Don't fall on me. A silhouette up there. Isn't that you stay away from me. Oh crap. Yo, this is crazy. I feel like that chipmunk man's right behind me. Please. Please. Look, it's him. He's somewhere down there. Give him to me. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. This is crazy. Who was that? Huh? Who? Where? I swear he was moving. Do I want to go down here? 
Nay. But must I? Yay. Anything to read in here? Please don't be behind me. This is one of those games where it's just like, you turn around and something's behind you. Must stay cool. Huh? Well, I look weird. Huh? Did my eyes blink? That's Cray. That's Cray, man. Oh my gosh, they still got me. I feel like I missed something, like something was there. Now what's gonna happen if I walk <gasps> right up here? Fuah! Read page. Incidents and I cannot dismiss them as random chance. The park works but something is interfering with its intended function. It's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable. But when the employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue, either kind, investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. Will it say boo again when I go over here? I'm expecting a jump scare at any moment. Don't do it! Ah! Ugh. Okay. Be Get over here. Is there anything in here? No. All right, let's go in. What is that? Is that a clown man? Deeper we descend. What? Is that door locked? Damn it. Nightmare Circus. Perfect book to get your kid. A circus burns into the ground on opening night, killing dozens. Dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk. Just as he shouts out a curse, now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk, searching for of his missing mother. Let the show begin. That sounds interesting. I would actually read that. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Alright, so uh, let's read. Disconnect notice. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed on your last bill. Contact us at on 555-7868 and we can arrange a payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe that this is in error, call us on 555-7869 to discuss your options. If you are unable to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich Power Company. The Dunwich Whore. Oh God, oh God, oh God. 
Donner part. I was looking at this earlier. You should watch this on uh, YouTube. There's an interesting story. I'm tilting my head. April 16th, 1846, group of covered wagons began the 2,500-mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sup. I thought that was in Colorado. Maybe not. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies westward migration that the world had ever seen. Westward migration. Okay, now our panel of Donner experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the Flemings were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive the terrible winter. In this never seen before, read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages are shocking. True story. I feel like someone's watching me. I'm gonna go. His hat. His Rubik's Cube. You remember the Rubik's Cube 80s cartoon? I love you from Callum. Little baby. What book is this? The Wilting, Susan Ascombe. With this novel, Susan Ascombe comments, cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of a generation. Let me drink real quick. A solar flare has struck the earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop the global overheating. An exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world again. Dynamic, exciting, bombastic, everything we've come to expect from Ascom novel. Chance O'Hara, O'Hara, is back and you'd better believe that she is bigger, better than ever. Remember Ahara, a friend of the dragon? Ahara! Read shopping this. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, fix fossil. Yeah, pay the bill. Ooh, what we got here? Uh, lamb chops? How do you close it? Examine wrench. Nice. Can I wrench something? Guess not. Locked. This is a huge place. Miss Maillard, we are, we, as we agreed our meeting today, we consider it fully recovered from your illness. This letter is officially to vacation that you're considered sound of mind and body may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel any time that you are suffering a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish to continue good health. Dr. Spencer. Oh, that's weird. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised you ran off with your father all of those years with your father all of those years ago. Then disappeared off the edge of the map and then when I finally tracked you down refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you had run away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you go back to my life. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine. But I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not yet I am not yet ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Whoops. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Dunwich emergency Jesus, so much read Patient name. Mallard Lorraine Kimberly. Seventeen ten nineteen seventy seven. Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that those episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. 
aftercare requirement recommendations, weekly follow-up with local physician, mood stabilizers, lithium-based. Discharge instruction, Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her as long as she follows her recommendation recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication. We have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing and her employer. Susie has said that she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. It is with this support and equity in mind that we feel confident in releasing Lorraine from this institution. <clears throat> Medication instructions. The prescription for Zoloft. So lift that can be filled at Flags Pharmacy in Kingsmouth. She has been advised to start with 50 meg, 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 milligrams dose and then based on the advice of her doctor to increase the medication as needed. Okay, so the puzzle's slowly coming together. Well, there's a lot to read. Miss Mallard, our inquiry to the state that Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of this estate, including the life insurance settlement for the, the for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State. The deceased parents are the deceased parents. Our agencies made contact with Mr. and Ms. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures and they specif specified that without any legal proof of biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I am not too forward when I close the bill for our services of this letter. Please pay $1. Jeez. Darkness. It's this my Sam. Some out of duck. And we're at the beginning again. What the heck? Lorraine. Things aren't better between us at the moment, I know. I want to try to explain it. I think it is because I am so far from home and I'm working so hard. Every day working at the park, it gets worse. Like spring inside my mind. Winding, like a spring inside my mind. Winding tighter and tighter and tighter. I thought I said spring. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys... The guys were all and I, we laugh and we're we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. I was thinking about names for our boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and Emma for a girl. Big hug, little hug. Big kiss, little kiss. Same book. What is this? Flags Pharmacy. Take two tablets by mouth. It's Zoloft. I guess Zoloft. And... They have... Is that a person over there? It's Callum! Callum! Show yourself? I'll be back, Callum. I'm gonna look over here real quick. I know you'll be there. What's this? Yeah. Um, her wife. I don't get it. Wait, wait, there's gotta be something on this. Her. Her. I love you from Callum. Callum, I found you. What? Take pills, follow up with Dr. Spencer, organize babysitter for Callum. 
I got a very uneasy feeling. I think it's the music. Did you know they can make horror music that gives you an uneasy feeling? And I think it's doing it to me now. I am scared. This is freaking trippy. I didn't run away, Dad took me. Am I supposed to wait around for something? Is that a real si song? Um, yes, we read that. Deeper. Let me in there. Let me in. I want to sing the duck song with you. And here we are again. Little bear, will you move? Examine. Callum's hat, bloody. Uh, milk, Zola for skits, cheese, Zola for skits, bread, a lot of prescriptions. Fish sticks, remember, more pills, tickets to Atlantic Island Park. Yo, this is freaking scary. This is like horrifying. What's in here now? Interesting. My fear level is at nine, no joke. This is very disturbing. Pogo ball? Yo, it's an actual pogo ball. Thank you, Willem. The new watch is very nice and made me happy. Carrot. Who's Carrot? Is that a rabbit? It's him! I'll be glad when this is over, for real. I am scared! Holy crap! Very macabre now. It looks like Vincent Price's house. Yeah, that's disturbing. Her. See her try. Her lie. See her why. I can't read anymore. This is very disturbing. I'm not sleeping tonight, I'll tell you that. Alright, so, uh, I can't get out. Whoa, dude! Okay, maybe that. Maybe I actually went the wrong way. You aren't alone, nobody loves you, Calum's no longer. What? Longer who he once was. What? Interesting. Anything in here? Ice pick. Yo, this is freaking crazy. I can't see. If this was VR, I'd be tripping. I'd pull the thing off. It's no joke. Huh? What?
Read letter. Everything is the same, but it's more deteriorated. I'm literally expecting something to jump in my face right now. Yo, stress level is at 10. Warning, warning. Stress level 10. Here's a picture here. My two best friends, Don and Laura. The wilting. What? Yo, this is crazy. This is, we are in Silent Hill. Alright, exit, yes. This is nuts, man. Now we're in the Haunted Mansion. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time, before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? What the heck? Kids broke in today. It has been so long since I heard laughter, so very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life. We were in time to gas shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by machines is not yet complete. There must be other children. What? Eyes without sparkle. Eyes without a face. Save me, Billy Idol. This is nuts. Examine book. What? Who? It's still going on. Cthulhu shirt? Nice. Yo, that was crazy. Holy crap, that was freaking nuts. Sorry, my mouse is running in the wheel. That's not the game.
Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Yo, I cannot begin to express how happy I am this is over. This is crazy. That was like nuts, man. This is a good game. Pick it up if you can. All right, this is, uh, I guess I'll end it here. I'm going to play some board of Warcraft or something, get my mind off of it. Got to do some recording. All right, thanks for joining me. This is Necronite76, and this was The Park. If you're interested in getting it, I'll leave a link. I shall see you in the future.